What's up, y'all? So if you're not a Christian, you can skip past this video because it's not, not for you. Um, this is for Christians. Seriously, it's for Christians. So you're not going past this video. Anyway, Christians, what is this? We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names, by many different faiths. A man and a woman. What was that? Like, for real, what was that? You know, this is why we have to be very careful about who we vote for, about what we do as Christians. Because for real, for real, the fact that the guy was like a man and a woman. I mean, I don't know why I feel like I'm the only one. I feel like I'm a, a part of a handful that's actually really disturbed and actually angered by this. Like righteous angrily, um, angered by this. Like, for real. And not only the amen and a woman thing, that, that's, that's ignorant. It's the fact of who he was praying to. Like, this is a pastor that's praying to a demon. Okay? I thought he said Allah. He said, no, he said Baram. And I was like, what's Baram? Never heard of Baram. So, but I was like, this sounds demonic. So I looked it up, and sure enough, yeah, demonic. This is a demon God. And, and, What's irritating me, it seems like no Christian really cares. Like, everyone's just kind of like, oh, okay, this is what it is. Like, what? I was irate when I saw this. I was like, he prayed to a demon, to a demon in Congress. Really? In Congress. So that means now, where they make the laws and everything, so now there's a demonic spirit inside Congress now. And where are the Christians at? Where are the irate ones at? This was frustrating me 100%. I remember, I'm, I'm trying to look on Christians. Like, very few Christians said something about it. I already posted something about it. And I'm like, really? This is what we're doing now? This is what this new administration is coming in with. I call it the Ahab and Jezebel um, administration. I.E. Biden and Harris. Yeah, Ahab and Jezebel. I said it. Ahab and Jezebel. Both of them. This is what they want to bring in. This sick garbage. Praying to a demon. He's a pastor. Supposed to be. Or well, by name anyway. And the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, I don't see no pastors. Even talking about this. I looked on almost every pastor I know page. Not one. Now, the ones I saw. Again, the ones I saw. But not one said anything about it. Not one. Not one. It's like, where is the church at, man? Why is someone like me? I'm not a leader. I'm not a pastor. But I'm the one angry about it. And maybe seem like I look like I'm crazy and I'm mad about something that's not a big deal. It is a big deal. This is spiritual warfare in our Congress. And they pray to a demon. And you may say, oh no, that's, and don't be technical with me, saying that's a Hindu God. No, anything, if it's not the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and it's a demon. It's a demon, okay? If it's not the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it's a demon. Period. And I don't know why there's not that one Christian doing anything like, or, or saying anything, or even like speaking out like I'm doing. We're getting upset. It seems like everyone's like, eh, this is what it is. Like, what? This is something that will destroy our country. Look, man. This is ridiculous. Like, I don't understand. And of course, the whole a man, a woman thing is like, what? What? Look. Y'all need to share this video for real, for real. Put this on every Christian, every pastor stuff and say, what are we doing? Seriously, what are we doing? We should be going up to D.C. and say, uh, get him out if he's part of the Congress or whatever. And especially make him step down his church. I think it's a Methodist church. I think it's a Methodist pastor. And Methodist, I mean, no offense to Methodists, but I'm like, I, don't, I don't know about them. But still, you're supposed to be preaching the word of God and preaching Jesus, at least God. But no, you're talking to Baram. And what of um, what are Baram's, uh, I guess, assignments or what, the, what he's assigned to do? Is destroy the earth. That's what he was praying to. That's what he was praying to. 
He said, to our monotheistic God, Baram. That's not my God. I don't know who you praying to. That's a demon. And we have Christians sitting here silent, being punks. Like me, look, I'm going to be real. I was a punk too. I didn't say nothing back in the day. I didn't, didn't want to say nothing because I want to get in the way. and I, I just didn't want to start nothing. I didn't. I didn't. But now we've been silent for too long. And look what it's done. And we've been ignorant for too long. Because look what we voted in. And this is what's going to be happening. Now unless God puts a miracle. Now unless God does a miracle, which I'm praying he doesn't. Listen, I'm going to say something here. I have been praying and fasting for this country for about two months now. Yeah, for about two months. Praying and fasting every morning, 4 a.m. Got up, give God an hour before I go to work. And on the weekends, usually I get up. I just always, the first thing I do is get up and just do pray for an hour, read the word, and um, start my day. And then um, and I will fast breakfast. And I wouldn't eat till like lunchtime. I would do this for two months. I was doing it for two months, consistently. I've been praying for this nation to be restored back to Christ. I'm telling you, God better put a miracle. Because I, I, I'm, I'm serious. You don't understand the demonic doors they're opening. This administration is going to open once they get, if they get in the White House. I'm praying for a miracle that they don't get in. I'm being real. <coughs> I'm praying for a miracle they don't get in. No. I don't want them in. Uh, in Jesus' name, no. You kidding me? Because that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's just the tip, tip of the iceberg. The prayer. To Baram. Seriously? That's just the tip. So imagine what it would be like if those two got in and they really run everything. And imagine if Georgia goes blue. You didn't think about that, did you? Because what his name is? Emmanuel Warnock? He is not a saint. That is not a pastor. Especially when, if, if I'll, I'll put this video, I'll put a link in if I can. I'll link you to this video. And some of you may know her, some of you don't. Beverly Beatty. And she showed the hypocrisy of him and where right across the street from his church is nothing but homeless people. And even one of the homeless people said they asked for their help and they always reject them. But this is someone that's trying to take care of Georgia, that's going to represent Georgia. But I'll show you the video. The link, I'll, I'll put a link somewhere where you guys can see it. But anyway... Other than that, this is why we have to be very careful who we vote for and stop voting for feelings and start voting for policy and legislation. Read what these people are about. They're going to tell you. Just read it. If you read it, you'll see it. And we're, we're being blinded by our skin color, by, blinded by, by, by feelings, and we're voting for stupidity. And now look at this. Like I said, we got a, a person praying, a pastor, pastor, praying to a demon God because we don't want to offend anybody because we don't want to offend anybody come on man look I wasn't going to go at first because I didn't care to go but I'm going up to D.C. on January 6th because I'm going to go there to pray and that's actually the last day of my fast actually and that's the last I'm going to go up there in the morning to pray and fast for the last time. I'm going to pray hard, pray in the spirit and all that. I want to know who's with me. Now, if you fit, if you can't actually go, then don't. I mean, if you can't cut work. I just have a blessing enough of a great job where it blessed me, where I can, I can do that. But if you can't find, but I'm looking for pastors. That's why I say share this thing. Share this video, please. Put this on pastor's page. Put it on, put it on, on every pastor you know. Put it on Christians, everything. Who is going to go up there? Now, don't complain because all oh, it's going to be MAGA people. Who cares? Who cares? It's MAGA people. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Nothing's going to happen. But I'm going up there for prayer. And if God before me, who could be against me? So I ain't worried about it. So I'm going up there. But I want to know who's going to man up, woman up, and say, you know what? We need to take our country back because we're about to lose it to demons. We're about to lose it to Satan himself because of our ignorance and not paying attention to what's going on. telling you man Christians we need to wake up and wake up now and stop playing these games God is not happy right now and I'm praying he does a miracle I'm praying he does a miracle 
That's all I got to say.